Hi, Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Friday's Coffee Talk. We are so excited to have everyone here today. So if you are joining us, um, please comment, like, share, um, because we're very excited to have a special guest on with us today, um, Sam Murray. But we're going to introduce each, um, every, all of us right now. So Sam, what do you want to go ahead and go through a little bit about what you, you know, what your role is? Um, I am the director of asset maintenance, so I see all of the operations that go on in our maintenance department. So, um, like rental income, paying invoices, property taxes, everything like that. I have uh, three girls that work with me. Um, I love them. They're great. I'm sure you guys will meet them eventually. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what we do overseeing all of outgoing funds, incoming funds that don't have to do with like new account funding or distributions or anything like that. So Perfect. yes. So, and I'm Megan Brenneman. I'm the assistant director of business development here at Mountain West IRA. We are all located in the Boise office except Bianca. Oh wait, wrong way. <laughs> Bianca, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes. Hi. Um, welcome back to any of our viewers who have been watching since the beginning, or if you're brand new, welcome to Mountain West IRA's Coffee Talk. I'm Bianca Krieger, your local IRA specialist. Um, even though I am located in the Tampa, Florida office, I do work congruently with the main office, so I can do anything that that office does. I just don't deal with any or original paperwork. Um, I hope you guys have brought your coffees. I have my ice cold brew here with me. Sam, what are you drinking? I need a little bit more oomph. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, more if you have energy drinks, <laughs> I'll crash it too. It's fine. And then, of course, further ado, I'm Dinah Hoff. I am the business and marketing coordinator. Um, I spend a lot of my time teaching people how to use self directed IRAs to invest in what they know. Um, I love it, it's so much fun. Um, helping people invest in real estate and precious metals and um, help somebody with Bitcoin yesterday. So it's just, it's really kind of cool. So I love it. Yes. Well, so now that we've introduced ourselves, if you're watching, please let us know who you are and who's watching with us so that we can um, hopefully have conversation with everyone today. I know we have about 10 people viewing right now. So if you are on, say hi. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. Um, what you're doing? What are you doing today? Do you have any fun plans for your weekend? Whatever. You know, we're just here. We're gonna conversate and get to know a little bit more about Sam and kind of how um, maybe a little bit how business development and maintenance work together as a team to um, make everything seamless um, with accounts um, and processing for invoices and things like that. So, Sam. I know you kind of talked a little bit and I know you have three uh, people you work with. With that being said, like, what are some of those things that that you, uh, the other things that you do or your team does to help accounts with their maintenance of it? Um, well, with like incoming funds, um, a lot of the new account funding we get via check. Uh, so we have to let business development know when we receive those funds. So they can let the client know, especially with like our institutional clients uh, that deal with only business development. They don't really want a bunch of people contacting them, which is totally fine. Um, so we let them know about those funds. Um, business development will let us know when we should be receiving a lot of funds. We have to get those new fundings are usually pretty large checks. Uh, so they let us know when it's coming. So we're not surprised when we get a huge, huge check. Um, so that's pretty much what they do. And Olga does that, actually, the check processing and everything. She's been with us uh, about three months now, and she's doing really well. I'm super impressed with that. So, Sam, uh, speaking of uh, how long how long have you been with Mountain West IRA? Um, I started here February of 2018, so a little over two years now. Excellent. I know that we, we're all here a little bit more seasoned um, employees and staff from Mountain West Diary. So we have lots of memories. Um, oh, yeah. I know for some of our newer viewers, we do have a holiday party on an annual basis. And I know we've all enjoyed that. How, how do you guys, um, have you guys been looking forward to any kind of annual parties again when we can field a little 
be able to break a little bit from social distancing. I know that's still not on the table yet, but I know that I'm definitely looking forward to being able to spend some quality time, not only with my family and friends, but with my coworkers as well. Yeah, December seems so far away, V. Right, but I feel like it's gone by real quick. It's already May, fifth month out of the year. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jeez, really a club. <laughs> Watching you today. Yes. <laughs> you got Don't worry, it's all my family. Hello, everyone. That's awesome. Hello, Hello family. Hi, Sam, family. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam, why don't you also tell us about like what you like to do for fun or outside of the office? Um, I do a lot of things outside of the office. I love to read. Right now I'm actually reading um, Game of Thrones books. This is the okay. fourth one and I'm basically <laughs> destroying them. Um, I'm also watching the episodes in congruence with the books so I can compare them, which is super, super nerdy, but whatever. I know we had a lot of conversation about that, huh, Sam, about how it differs from the two. That's pretty cool. It does. It's so different. Like the books give so much more detail and everything in the TV show. I feel like they were just like, this isn't important. This isn't important. It's like, well, it's like, no, it's hard. I feel like that goes with a lot of books to cinema translation. Yeah. Um, for any of our new viewers, I also have a little bit of a nerdy side. I'm a little bit of a Harry Potter fan, so I can completely agree. Um, when uh, the books get translated into movies, it doesn't capture everything, but it is kind of nice to be able to have that little spark. Um, let us know if you guys have anything that you guys are interested in, any kind of books or cinemas or movies, Netflix that you guys have been watching. We'd love to know and share. Oh, now, see, I, I need a different mug. I need a mug that says mischief managed. <laughs> Right? I've actually seen some of those coffee mugs to where you pour in your hot coffee and then the words mm. pop up on the cup. Yeah. yeah. I will have to say, though, I, don't, I can't give up my ice cold brew. I, <laughs> I decided to go with the OMG cup this morning because, you know, it's Friday. Friday. It's an OMG day for me. <laughs> this week but it is like Friday. So thank goodness it's Friday, right? Right. Yeah. Happy Friday. So Sam, um, a little bit more. So I know that you, um, you know, we were talking a little bit about yourself, but you have your fur babies and yes. you have named them the best names ever. So I think you need to share that with everybody. Um, okay, so I'll start with my first Milo. Um, I got him when I was like 14. He was just a tiny baby. And so I named him Milo after the Milo and Otis movie because I loved it. Um, he's a dog, he's tiny. I love him, he's almost, 10 years old or is 10 years old now. Um, so he lives with my parents. And then my boyfriend and I have a cat who was also named Milo, but I got him when he was four years old. His name was already Milo. I didn't want to confuse him, so I just kept it. Um, and then I have our dog, Winston, whose full name is Winston Churchill. And he is a big oaf, but I love him so much. He is a terror, but he is adorable. And then my cat, Milo's full name is, hold on, I have to think of it. I haven't said in a really long time. He hasn't been <laughs> I think it was <laughs> um, It's His Majesty Sir Milo Stalin Murray III. <laughs> yes. We all the have very lovely pet names <laughs> for our furry yeah. children. It's the third because the first born child that I have, I'm also going to name Milo. So I have a cat Milo, dog Milo, and human Milo. That's all Milo's. All Milo's. <laughs> I love it. Gotta be in you. So where did Milo come from? Was there a story behind that? Because I feel like there's always a story behind everything with you. Uh, well, it was just from that movie, Milo and Otis, and then it just kept going. Like it was oh, just from there, and then you just love the name, and it just stuck. Milo. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was pretty funny. He was sleeping on my pillow this morning for whatever reason, and my head was not on the pillow. Like he pushed me off, which. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. Like, we have a whole bed and you want to sit right here. Okay. Oh, that's funny. So, um, just to, I know that we've been talking a little bit a little more about personal things, um, but just to get a little bit of education in here, especially for some of our newer watchers, Sam, what is the most frequently asked question that you receive? Or you can uh, let us know what, uh, I guess, a few of those frequently asked questions are in your department, especially with your experience here? 
Um, I would have to say m explaining the difference between uh, paying invoices out of your IRA versus a credit card. Um, just because a lot of people use like a credit card to pay their Mountain West IRA administration fees. And they're usually not, it's kind of confusing, which I totally understand. Um, but the credit card is used only to pay the fees and we can't, you know, authorize your credit card to pay like an invoice. Like that's kind of different. So that's all the thing that we have to explain a bunch of times. Um, it feels like sometimes it's asked more often than not, but I've gotten really good with the explanation and basically honed it down to a few sentences. So I'm not blabbing to them. So No, of course, <laughs> elaborate, elaborate. So as if I was a client, why can't I, or I would like to pay my fees by credit card, not only with Mountain West, but I want to pay my, my light bill. My, uh, so what would you say to me if I was a client? Um, I would let you know that we do have a credit card on file to pay our Mountain West IRA fees, but anything to pay uh, an expense of the asset in the account has to come from IRA funds. So the funds have to be in the IRA. We use whatever your cash balance is, and then we pay the invoice that way. That's a really good way to explain it. Um, I have the benefit of usually getting to explain things in person. And I've with my hands a lot. So yeah. I'm just very used to saying, okay, if it's taking care of your account with Mountain West, you can pay it with your credit card. Yep. But if it's taking care of the asset, like paying something for a house that you own inside of your IRA, that has to come from the IRA because the IRA is the owner. Yep. I don't know if I could do that without using my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. And then there's always the follow up questions about like, oh, well, why does it have to be that way? And it's, well, you're, you know, the IRA is set up to do this. You put the asset in the IRA. We have to pay it out of the IRA. Like, right. And there's a couple ways to go around that. Um, but always it comes back to the IRA reimbursing whatever you paid outside of it. Exactly. I know. And I love that we all have the same explanation, but we all say it in different words. <laughs> um, so like my example is I always like to look at it um, as a lineage of ownership. So you as a client or a customer employ us Mountain West IRA. So of course you could pay any of the fees that we charge, but your IRA is the owner of your asset, not you as a person. So that IRA has to pay for anything that it owns. Um, yep. So I love that we all have the same answers, but we all give it in different ways. And that's something that we really pride ourselves here at Mountain West IRA, that if you are ever unsure or you need another opinion uh, with any one of our representatives in Mountain West, we're more than happy to be able to talk to you or to be able to assist you in different ways uh, with being able to talk to different clients and associates, because we understand that always being not being able to uh, understand the first time is certainly okay. And we're more than happy to reiterate any kind of information that we give you. And that's why we give you this. So we give you our coffee talks, our Facebook lives. We're also on YouTube. And I don't know if you guys have heard in our previous Facebook lives, but we're also launching a podcast. So I know. So we're excited. Excited. Yeah. I love podcasts. Yeah, me too. That is very Let exciting. us know in the comments if you are looking forward to hearing that first podcast. We'd love to know if you are enjoying this information and how you're receiving it as well. Yes. And Sam, so you said you had two other, some, uh, you know, other people you work with. Do you want to give us a little bit of information about what each person does in your department? Yeah. Um, so Alex has been here the longest other than me in this department. Um, she handles all of our morning funding, so she enters the transactions based on the invoices that we receive, um, and then she also prints the checks going out after I have approved the batch, um, and then she prints them, she does the notes and fees for them, and puts them in envelopes and sends them. She also is in charge of our scheduled transactions, so um, a lot of our mortgage payments, HOA payments, uh, property insurance sometimes if they're on like an installment um, agreement. She also schedules those. So we have certain days that we send those out and they're always on the same day. Um, unless that day is on a weekend or a holiday, then it's the business day before. Um, Olga would be the next one. She processes all of our incoming checks and um, 
Oh, sorry, my computer shut down for a sec. She processes all of our incoming checks, like rental income, dividends, uh, LLC income, which I think is dividends. Um, but yeah, all of that income, and then she also deposits them and places them on a batch, which I approve. She's also in charge of our follow-up procedure, so any invoices that we don't have a uh, valid authorization form for, or we need more funds in the IRA, she is in charge of that as well. Um, the next one would be Aurora. She is our newest employee in the department, but she's doing great. Um, she does the processing of the invoices that we receive, so she's doing really good with that. Um, she is also working with Aurora or Olga doing follow-up, so she's learning that process as well. Um, we did have a little bit of an issue earlier in the year with follow-up, just because it is it is it is so tedious, but they've been working really hard to get us caught up, making phone calls, and the amount of payment authorization and funds we've been receiving just from those phone calls is intense. Like, uh, they're yeah. doing really well. So, so I'm what, really proud of them. So you talked about a payment authorization. Mm -hmm. What is that and how long is it valid and why do we request this? Um, so payment authorization letter, we also just call them PALS. Um, so we try not to use that language with clients because they might not know that. But for those of you that are watching, we do reference it as a PAL. Um, so you're welcome to use that language with us as well. It is basically just an authorization form that you've signed letting us know what we can and cannot pay. Um, so there's boxes on there saying like all invoice expenses. So anything we receive in the office for your account, HOA, property taxes, property insurance, irrigation, utilities, we will pay those. Um, you also have the ability to choose specific ones. So if you only want us to pay an HOA, you only want us to pay property taxes, you can fill that out and we will only pay those invoices. Um, those are valid for 12 months unless you specify an end date. At that point, we will request a new one at that end date. But um, a lot of the payment authorizations that don't have an end date, after 12 months, we'll request a new one. That's great. Excellent. So, um, Sam, I guess uh, besides our department, what other department do you work with the most? Um, who do you contact the most? Uh, Karen, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, Karen um, everybody's going to. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll have leadership on here soon too so you'll be able to meet all of uh the wonderful leaders that have helped grow mountain west ira so but yes i would agree <laughs> yeah, yeah we i think to figure out a way to carve out some time for karen <laughs> yeah busy i think that and if you guys didn't is. know karen georgeson is our general manager of mountain west ira and the mm -hmm. longest standing um employee here at mountain west ira yeah, so sure. let us know if you ever talk to her, if you ever want to see her on here, we would love to know. I think other than Karen, the um, department I contact the most would probably be transactions. Um, we work really closely with transactions. They let us know what properties they've purchased, what properties have been sold, all of that. So we know what invoices we should be receiving. Um, so we work really closely with them. They're a great team too. I love all of those girls too. So yeah, we have a very good um, group right now yes. as far yeah, as our team that, they, that we have right now. I think that everybody gets along really well. I feel like each department communicates really well with each other because I think that to make a company work, that is so important. And I feel like right now we have that probably stronger than ever before. Yeah. So it is very exciting. And I'm hoping that everybody will get to meet each person individually on here because it is very exciting to to kind of get to know everybody and kind of see the back end, I mean, of how things work. So how many, I do have one quick question for you, Sam. How many uh, invoices on average do you guys process a day? Uh, depends on the day, honestly. Um, beginning of the month and Mondays, it is, I'd say probably between 20 and 50, uh, depending on what quarter it is as well. Um, I know quarterly we get about 120 invoices from Idaho Armored Vaults alone. So that's pretty intense when that comes around. Um, in November, when we start getting property taxes, that's also pretty intense because we a lot of our assets, like alternative assets are real estate. Mm -hmm. And we do pay a lot of those property taxes. So 
those times are pretty intense. Right now, we're not too busy. Um, we're staying busy with the invoices we have, but um, yeah, definitely not the volume we'll be getting here pretty soon. Right. And that's just uh, one of the ways that we keep growing Mountain West IRA is that when once a department um, reaches a certain capacity, we'll start adding on new employees to make sure that the work is passed on fairly. And we're making sure that we're making all sorts of ways of being able to process your documents, your invoices in an extremely timely manner. Um, and just to follow up, <laughs> uh, key term follow up, um, that is something that we also do here at Mountain West IRA that I know that not a lot of other custodians do. We're not gonna just tell you one time that something is due or that you need to be paid. We do go out of our way to be able to provide that service to you, to be able to not only remind you once, but remind you on a multiple time basis. So then if you ever do happen to miss that email or miss that voicemail, you know that you'll be contacted again and making sure that all of your assets are being paid in a timely manner. Yeah, it's we'll most likely always get something in the mail too. Yes, <laughs> it's a lot of mail that usually boxes comes in. Boxes of mail. <laughs> right, um, and I know, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, and I know that we mentioned transactions. So if you guys want to tune in next week on Friday as well, Jacqueline Call in our transactions department will be here with Yay! our company I'm on Friday. On Friday. <laughs> I love Fridays. I do too. Fridays are amazing. And to start it off like this, I love it even more just because it's it's nice. It's nice to start off a day um, to end the week talking to people and getting to know each other and kind of seeing how Mountain West IRA works as a whole and as a team. I mean, I think that um, really in all reality, at the end of the day, we all care about each other. I mean, we've all hung out after work together or done some fun things. And I think that it just shows that when you have that atmosphere of how well a company is gonna you know, thrive, especially during this time um, with COVID-19. And I actually had to share the mask that <laughs> my company got me. And I, it's just cause I love it, you know, it's so cute. <laughs> I know Bianca, you're not in the office yet, so you don't have one, but I'm sure. Mine has I, love my little I, love little little house. I love my mask. It looks like camouflage. The little it's cute great. cat. <laughs> I know Tiara will like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're watching Tiara, hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, is, do we have any questions? I know we have quite a few people viewing. I'm not sure if there's any questions for us or for Sam about the process of how um, maintenance works and processing invoices and checks and things like that. And I'm not seeing any right now. Anybody else want to add anything for today? I think we went over a lot. Um, I'm super happy and super glad that we're all here today. Mm -hmm. And I'm also glad that Mountain West IRA Boise office is fully up and running. So that's very exciting. Florida to follow shortly once we're getting into those stages. And don't forget to tune in next Wednesday. Uh, John Galane will be on uh, again every Wednesday. Love listening yeah. to John. <laughs> yes, don't forget to like, share, ring the bell, subscribe, so then you get notified any single time that we have a live, a YouTube video, or a podcast. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I do want to say one last thing. Um, Mother's Day is on Sunday. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, and we hope that you have a wonderful and safe weekend. Take care of yourself and stay healthy and take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.